हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम रोशनी एंड वंस अगेन वेलकम टू माय चैनल सर्किट ग्लोब टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट इज अ फोटो डायोड सो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड वेल फ्रेंड्स अ फोटो डायोड इज आल्सो अ पीएन जंक्शन डिवाइस दैट हैज द एबिलिटी to generate or produce current when the junction is exposed to radiation or light now let's have a look at the symbol of photodiode in the symbolic representation of photodiode the two inward arrows represents its exposure to radiation it is specifically a reverse bias diode that means it operates when reverse bias voltage is provided to it now guys let's move further and understand the operation of a photodiode as i have already discussed in my previous video of diode that when reverse bias potential is applied to a diode then only minority current will flow through the device and this current is known as reverse current so initially when the junction is not exposed to any type of radiation then only minority current will flow through the device and this current is known as dark current the name itself is indicating guys that dark current flows through the device in the absence of any type of radiation the movement of minority carrier across the junction minority carriers for the p side is electron and minority carrier for n side are holes the movement of these minority carriers across the junction will generate a small reverse current and this reverse current is known as dark current after a certain point of time the movement of minority carrier generates depletion region across the junction this is our depletion region this depletion region contains neutral atom that does not allow any further flow of electron or hole across the junction now at at this particular time we provide radiation to the junction or we can say the junction is illuminated with light so at this particular time now as the radiation falls on the surface of the junction the temperature of the junction increases with the increase in the temperature electron and hole start separating from each other at the time of separation the holes present in this region gets attracted towards the negative potential of the battery and the electron present will get attracted towards the positive potential of the battery so friends due to this movement or we can say due to this whole process that happens over here allows the flow of current to take place and with the increase in the intensity of radiation the current through the device also increases more simply we can say that the current through the device is directly proportional to the intensity of light now guys let's move further to understand the characteristic of a photodiode as we can see in this diagram shown here that the x axis represents the reverse applied voltage and the y axis represents the current that flows through the device on application of reverse voltage as i have already explained in the working that a small reverse current will flow through the device and this is that small reverse current when the junction is not exposed to any type of radiation and this is known as dark current which is represented over here so the first curve in this figure represents the dark current okay so at the moment when the junction is exposed to radiation the current will now start increasing and it will totally become independent of the applied reverse voltage and how can we say that so the answer to this question is once the junction is illuminated the carriers will flow only due to the intensity of light due to the increase in temperature and the reverse bias voltage will not play any role in this condition we can clearly see here that after illumination the curve show equal spacing between them this is so because the intensity of incident radiation that falls at the junction of photodiode is directly proportional to the current that flows through the device or we can say the current increases with the increase in the intensity of light this is all about the operating principle and characteristic of a photodiode well friends this brings me to the end of this lesson i hope you find this lesson very useful so guys please like and share this video 
and put in your comments below and do subscribe our channel for more updates. I will be back with a new lesson. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.